So question four deals with um, inhibited follow cell growth with product inhibition. For product in inhibition, the rate laws takes the following form. We have the cell growth rate Rg is equal to K mu the specific growth rate and then the cell concentration. We have the specific growth rate mu equal to the maximum specific growth rate times the substrate concentration over the Michaelis Menten constant plus the substrate concentration. And our K value is equal to 1 minus our product concentration over our specific uh, product concentration to the power of N. We can initially calculate K over S. The question states that CP, the product concentration, is equal to 50 grams per decimeter cubed. And from this, we can calculate K over S to be equal to 1 minus 50 over 93 power of 0.52, giving us a value of 0 0.67. Um, then we can find the product over substrate yield in order to find our substrate concentration at the end of our growth period. So for this we have our product over substrate yield is equal to our final product concentration minus our initial product concentration over our in final substrate concentration minus our initial substrate concentration. we can have this in the form of our final substrate concentration, CSF, minus our initial substrate concentration. And we can rearrange this in the form so that we have our final value of substrate concentration. So we can bring this, the bottom of this to the top and this below. So we have CPF minus CPI over YPS. And we can add our initial concentration to the right hand side to get no, sorry, minus CPF. And then substituting our values into this equation, we get 250 minus 50 minus 0, assuming no product initially, over our yield. This gives our final substrate concentration, CSF, to be 138.9 grams per decimeter cubed. We can then calculate our growth rate Rg, and to do this we first need to calculate our cell concentration using the yield coefficient y product over cell. So we have y product over cell, and that's equal to our final cell concentration, final product concentration, CPF minus our initial product concentration over our cell initial and final values for concentration. We can rearrange this equation so we have it in terms of our final cell concentration y 
CF by moving this side to the top so we get And then we can substitute our values into this equation in order to get our final concentration of cells. We can now calculate our specific growth rate, Rg. Which is equal to our k value times our specific growth rate times our cell concentration, C. So this is equal to 0 0.67 multiplied by mu multiplied by 9.93 our specific growth rate our growth yeah, our specific growth rate mu can be calculated using the following formula mu max times concentration of substrate over ks plus cs and we find that our CS value is 138.9 from what we calculated earlier. Our mu max value is given as 0 0.33. And our KS value is given as 1.7 grams per decimeter cube. So our specific growth rate for the reaction and cell growth is 0.326 hours to minus 1. And substituting this into our growth rate equation, we get... a value for our growth rate of 2.172 grams per decimeter cubed per hour.